the Utah Department of Transportation's I-15 core project, Innovation in Motion. Between the snow-covered Wasatch Mountain Range, the Utah DOT and its contractors are in a race against time. It is a Super Bowl for us, and we'll, we'll sleep pretty good when it's in. The it James is talking about is the massive Sam White Bridge that will soon rest above Interstate 15, located roughly 35 miles south of Salt Lake City. The bridge weighs a colossal 3.8 million pounds. It's 80 feet wide and 354 feet long, equal in size to a football field, including both end zones. Unlike most bridges, which are built in place, creating traffic delays during construction, contractors are using what's called accelerated bridge construction, or ABC techniques, to build the Sam White. ABC, just one of four examples of innovation in motion on the I-15 core project. The ABC, which is the accelerated bridge construction, we, we put a lot more reinforcing in the bridges, and they're built to actually flex a little bit. Um, so the tolerance is a lot greater on an ABC bridge versus a standard conventional bridge. By constructing the bridge off to the side, traffic was able to zoom by during the nine months it took to build the bridge. This is about doing something that um, saves us money. This also saves people time out on the highway because when we build a bridge off-site and then roll it into place, we don't impact people's lives nearly at all. For the past two days, workers have been outfitting the Sam White with what's called a self-propelled modular transporter. Described as a giant roller skate, this modern marvel will lift the Sam White 21 feet into the air while an operator, using a joystick, moves it across the interstate. We have to be precise in our measurements and actually constructing the bridge and the engineering of the bridge because the tolerance is minimal once you get out there and once you're in the middle of the road, you have a limited amount of time that we need to get the bridge in place and be able to open the road. The use of ABC techniques are spreading across the country with good reason. An April 2011 study by the Federal Highway Administration of nine ABC bridges across the country found construction time was significantly reduced compared to conventional construction. Five of the bridge replacement projects were completed with no impact to rush hour traffic. And according to the FHWA, the combined construction cost savings on the nine bridges was $30 million. The Sam White is one of six ABC bridges on the $1.7 billion, 24 mile long I-15 core project, the largest road construction project in Utah history. Prior to construction, UDOT asked contractors to compete for the project, utilizing an innovative approach called fixed price best design procurement. And in this situation, what we had was more length of road than we could possibly afford. So by uh, uh, fixing the price, we allowed the contractors to bid how much work they would be able to accomplish for the fixed price that we gave them. Uh, in this situation, it turned out extremely well for us. We anticipated somewhere, you know, in the 17 mile range, we got 24 miles of freeway under construction here. Provo River Constructors, a consortium of several companies, submitted the winning bid. We're doing something in three years that the department originally gave us four and a half years to bid on. So yeah, I have a great sense of pride. We've got the team we've put together that can do the job. Right now we're a year, over a year into it. We're on schedule and things are looking great. By the time the I-15 core project is completed in late 2012, a total of 63 bridges, many of which date back to the 1960s, will have been restored or replaced. Two new lanes for traffic will be added in both directions, and the project will rebuild or reconfigure 10 freeway interchanges, one of which will utilize innovation in motion example number three, the diverging diamond interchange. This cutting edge configuration leads motorists to make continuous left turns through an intersection. Vehicles merging onto the interstate stay in the far left lane without crossing opposing traffic. Traffic crossing above the interstate also travel to the left, eventually crisscrossing back to the right-hand side of the road once the roadway is clear. At 11 p.m. March 26, 2011, Nord orders the shutdown of Interstate 15 in both directions at American Fork, sending the Sam White into slow motion. 
more than a thousand spectators have gathered to watch. A testament to innovation in motion example number four, strategic communications. UDOT's public and media outreach plan employs a number of communications tools like the I-15 core hotline, weekly email and text message updates, along with the use of Twitter, Facebook, and a project website that's generated hundreds of thousands of visits. On this night, 100 transportation delegates from agencies from as far away as Europe are here to watch and to learn. And as predicted, the Sam White was set into place well ahead of the morning rush. Director Nord says this bridge move is symbolic of UDOT's commitment to employing the latest technology to minimize delays to the traveling public and deliver projects as fast as possible. And Nord says the entire I-15 core project demonstrates the state's commitment to UDOT. This facility that we're looking at right here, $1.7 billion project, state paid. It's entirely state funded. There's not a federal dollar in this thing. So we're spending all of our state money on this facility and other ones. We've got another one that's nearly this large, state funded 100% because we're trusted. And the reason we're trusted is because of this type of work that we do. The Utah Department of Transportation's I-15 core project, innovation in motion.